So a decent amount of your Tuesday without any sunshine. Now a few breaks of the clouds could offer up just a peak or two of sun, but here's going to be the big show. Less humid weather. You started to feel the difference today, but the real difference is going to arrive late this week. Highs may only reach into the upper 70s, bright sunshine and very dry weather. And after we got soaked with some heavier rain yesterday, the high humidity, we need a break from all that action. Live look outside, still some cloudy skies toward Perrysburg over toward Sylvania, where there's a peak or two of sunshine. More clouds, Waterville, thick clouds down toward Finley and mostly cloudy skies, Lake Township and over toward Bowling Green. Most areas been locked in the 70s today, but lower humidity at least made it feel better through the course of the afternoon and after a stormy day yesterday that really lingered into the evening. We've got dry conditions out on Doppler radar. Clouds just beginning to clear across southern Michigan and that's going to be hints of clearing skies tonight. All the wet weather southern Ohio tied to a front along the Ohio River. And it's going to squeeze out the rain and storms south of us over the next 24 to 48 hours. A little bit of clearing that's taking place. There it is southern Michigan. The rest of the area mainly cloudy skies. We'll see clearing tonight so clouds are going to melt away a little bit of fog will be possible tomorrow morning. It'll be patchy hit or miss areas of fog, but uh, if you're an early riser and traveling early on the roads, be cautious of that into Wednesday morning. Brighter skies and sunshine get another round of drier air into the area Wednesday, but the big game changer is going to be a front that works in very early Thursday may increase the cloud cover. I'm very skeptical that this could even bring a chance of an isolated sprinkle, so go ahead and talk mainly dry weather Thursdays that front rolls through and I do expect that front is going to bring much lower levels of humidity for a gorgeous Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening and that will stick around leading into the weekend ahead. A little bit of patchy fog possible tonight with the clearing skies down to 64 degrees that sunset 841 your Wednesday plans out to be a pretty nice day. A little patchy fog in the morning right around the mid 60s through 8 a.m. back into the 70s through lunchtime and we will reach to the low 80s as we go into the afternoon and evening. 83 the high on Wednesday. Thursday's looking spectacular. Dry conditions, lower humidity and a big day Thursday is our St. Jude Dream Home giveaway is going to be live right here on WTL 11. So look forward to that Thursday, Friday, looking bright and beautiful sunshine, upper 70s, low humidity. Friday into the weekend, Saturday will be a spectacular day. Jeep Fest going to be rolling into town this weekend. Saturday, lower 80s, Sunday, right around 80 degrees. A few scattered storm chances, but there will be many dry hours on Sunday. And next week looks like low 80s, Monday and Tuesday. In a couple days, it may slip back into the upper 70s the middle of next week. You know, I know they did the story la uh, a few weeks ago. We were talking about they wanted to hit every state in the U.S. as far as representation for the Jeep Fest. You and I were blown away by how many were represented last year. Yeah, it was amazing. It was a big party and the ducks <laughs> they're out there. We learned about the ducks last year yep. and WTOL is giving away some ducks and perfect weather. Saturday for the morning, Jeep, for 11 a.m. Yeah. is when the parade kicks off. You couldn't ask for no. better weather. Pretty much most of the weekend. Saturday will be the better of the two week days. Sunday, just a few showers. Yeah, but everybody should have their time. Tops off. Yeah, proud to have Jeep Fest in town. Tops off and open it up. Let the it Jeeps. Go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. <laughs>